Hey there, Jessica Collins here, and I'm going to be doing a little bit different type of video today. Um, we're going to look at some of my poetry. Um, I think it's amazing um, to analyze poetry. It's one of my favorite nerdy things to do, I guess. I have quite a few volumes on my bookshelf, and I love to just kind of break them down one by one and get into them. And appreciate them really so I am going to open up be a little vulnerable and show you a little bit of my poetry and kind of break it down let you know what it kind of means to me and hopefully get a little dialogue going to see what it means to you or your um, analysis of it so I'll read it to you first this one's called dresser for sale by Jessica Collins Another dresser for sale, and he buys it, for five more drawers of storage and a place to set the TV. As though cramming thimbles, shoelaces, and leather gloves into every open crevice makes us heavier, more efficient, more permanent, and satisfied, since we have everything we may need. As I see him bring in his new buy, I cough spastically, as though I'm stuck on earth the last day it has air and send a nail into the wall through the skin of my finger as I'm hanging another of his family photos. Here is where every orifice and appendage is, a, is glued, tacked, taped, and strapped to what I don't need. So basically this poem um, is talking about someone it's a couple, and the one is sort of a hoarder, I guess, gathering things, just hoarding things to make himself feel um, more important that he has what he needs, that he has everything he might possibly need. And the woman is feeling as though she's suffocating in this. She starts coughing like every piece that he brings in is knocking the breath right out of her as though uh, you know everything that's brought through the door is is adding to a heaviness on her um right here and send uh, where it says send a nail into the wall through the skin on my finger it's sort of like um, everything that he brings into the house or every picture that's nailed into the wall is nailing her into the house a little more. Like there's no way to leave. There's no way to get out from under the junk and the stuff. And she knows that uh, material things are not what they need. Perhaps their relationship is faltering and that's what they really need. Or perhaps she wants to move someday. Or perhaps she wants to travel but all the heaviness and the things and the stuff that he focuses on are completely contrary to what she wants. So that's just sort of a little overview of where this poem was going. And I would love to hear your comments below. I'll type out the poem below so you can see the hard copy of it. And feel free to print it, um, you know, to look at and analyze yourself. And please let me know what you think, um, what type of comments you have on this poem. I'd love to have a dialogue about it below. Leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel and I will hopefully have more videos like this with my own writing and breaking it down for you. Alright, bye!